Let's look at quadratic sequences and how to work out the nth term using equations. The nth term of a quadratic sequence can be written in the form a n squared plus b n plus c, where a, b and c are real numbers. And we can use these equations to work out the values of a, b and c. The first example says find the nth term of the sequence 12, 19, 28, 39 and 52. First work out the first difference, so that's 19 minus 12 which is 7, 28 minus 19 which is 9, 39 minus 28 which is 11, and 52 minus 39 which is 13. We now work out the second difference, so that's 9 minus 7 which is 2, 11 minus 9 which is 2, 13 minus 11 which is 2. And so using the first equation we have that 2a equals to the second difference, in this case 2. And so if we solve this equation, we end up with a, which equals to 1. Now using the second equation, we have 3a plus b equals to the second term minus the first term. And so we can write 3 times a, which is 1, plus b, which equals to the second term minus the first term. So that's 19 minus 12. And if we simplify this, we have 3 times 1, which is 3, plus b, which equals to 19 minus 12, which is 7. And so solving this equation, we end up with b, which equals to 4. And using the last equation, we have a plus b plus c equals to the first term. So we know what a is, which is 1, plus b, which is 4, plus c, which equals the first term, which is equal to 12. And so simplifying this, we have 1 plus 4, which is 5, plus c equals to 12. And so if we solve for c, we end up with 7. Now that we have the values of a, b and c, we can write the nth term as n squared because a is equal to 1 plus 4n because b is equal to 4 plus 7 because c is equal to 7. And that is the nth term of this sequence. The second example says find the nth term of minus 2, 1, 8, 19 and 34. So we begin by working out the first difference. So that's 1 minus minus 2 which is the same as 1 plus 2 which is 3 and then 8 minus 1 which is 7 and then 19 minus 8 which is 11 and then 34 minus 19 which is 15. Then work out the second difference so that's 7 minus 3 which is 4, 11 minus 7 which is 4 and 15 minus 11 which is 4. And so using our first equation we have that 2a equals to the second difference which in this case is equal to 4 and so solving this for a we get a equals to 2. And then using our second equation, we have 3a plus b equals to the second term minus the first term. So that's 3 times 2 plus b, which equals to the second term 1 minus the first term, which is minus 2. And so this simplifies to 6 plus b, which equals to 3. And solving this gives us b equals to minus 3. Using the last equation, we have a plus b plus c equals to the first term. We know the value of a, which is 2. We know the value of b, which is minus 3. And then we have plus c, which equals to the first term, which is minus 2. If we simplify this, we have 2 plus minus 3, which is minus 1, plus c, which equals to minus 2. And then solving for c gives us c equals to minus 1. Now that we have the values of a, b and c, we can work out the nth term of our sequence by substituting these values in. So we have 2n squared because a is equal to 2, minus 3n because b is equal to minus 3, minus 1 because c is equal to minus 1. And this is the nth term of this sequence. The final example says find the nth term of 1, 0, minus 5, minus 14 and minus 27. We start by working out the first difference, so that 0 minus 1, which is minus 1, minus 5 minus 0, which is minus 5, minus 14 minus minus 5, which is the same as minus 14 plus 5, which equals to minus 9, and then minus 27 minus minus 14, which is the same as minus 27 plus 14, which is minus 13. Now working out the second difference, we have minus 5 minus minus 1, which is the same as minus 5 plus 1, which is minus 4, and then we have minus 9 minus minus 5, which is minus 9 plus 5, which is minus 4. And then we have minus 13 minus minus 9, which is minus 13 plus 9, which is minus 4. Using the first equation, we have that 2a equals to the second difference, which in this case is minus 4. And so a equals to minus 2. Using the second equation, we have 3a plus b equals to the second term minus the first term. So in this case, we have 3 times a, which is equal to minus 2 plus b which equals to the second term which is 0 
minus s term, which is 1. Simplifying this equation, we have minus 6 plus b, which equals to minus 1. And so if we solve this, we end up with b, which equals to 5. Using the third equation, we have a plus b plus c, which equals to the first term. And so in this case, we know the value of a, which is minus 2, plus the value of b, which is 5, plus c, which equals to the first term, which in this case is 1. If we simplify this, we end up with 3 plus c, which equals to 1, and so solving for c gives us minus 2. Since we now have the values of a, b, and c, we can work out the nth term of this sequence, which gives us minus 2n squared, because a is equal to minus 2, plus 5n, because b is equal to 5, minus 2, because c is equal to minus 2. And this is the nth term of this sequence. That is how you work out the nth term of quadratic sequences using the equations method.